Hello, I am 37 weeks pregnant. Wanted to show you the updated nursery. So over here is the crib. We got the baby Leto nursery crib. Can be converted to a toddler bed once the baby grows up. This mobile I got from my friend Grace. It is so adorable. These are the bed sheets from Pottery Barn Kids that we also got at our baby shower and it's really cute. So right now we have a little bit of an animal theme going on. These will obviously leave the crib once the baby is born due to safety reasons. We got her newborn onesie here with the double zippers. I heard this is very necessary. A blanket that my mom got from one of the Korean stores. And then we have another lamb over here to kind of match the sheep. This is kind of what the crib is looking like, which I'm probably the most excited about. Then over here we have a bassinet. So we have our stroller from, we got the Uppa Baby Vista and it came with the bassinet. We had to get the bassinet stand. This is really nice because you can just take it on and off and clip it onto the stroller and then clip it back into this bassinet stand. I'm planning to move this bassinet stand probably to either the kitchen or maybe the living room when we're doing, you know, cooking or things like that and we want to have her close by. We also got a bouncer, the baby Bjorn bouncer. We got the toy bar. This is removable. What we did is we just laundried this part and then wiped the rest of it down since we got this from Facebook Marketplace. And I'm really excited to place our baby in here when we're doing other errands like cooking or cleaning. One of our friends got this Ubi diaper pail and they said that this was a 100% necessary item. It's supposed to block any odors and scents from dirty diapers. So this is kind of the setup over here. We are planning to have the diaper changing station over here, the crib over here, and then the bed over here. So right now this is our guest bed. It is apparently good to sleep with the baby for the first six months in order to reduce the likelihood of SIDS. So we are going to switch this double bed out for our master bed. Now this corner has some room for improvement, but this is basically our diaper stash. Size one Kirkland diapers from Costco. We have some newborn diapers from Huggies, and then we got a bunch of wipes. And we also got a few diapers from our friends. And then we have um, a really cool little Korean alphabet poster that we are going to hang up at some point. Over here is our Angel Care shower bath that we probably won't use for a little bit because babies don't really need showers in the beginning. But this is our Kikaru peanut changer. So we're gonna put this on top of our dresser. We don't actually have a dresser yet, but we will be getting one soon. So that will go atop the dresser. This is the toddler seat. So we don't actually need that yet, but we do have our stroller set up, the Uppa Baby Vista, like I mentioned. So we have this ready to go for the hospital once I pop because I am 37 weeks. And then over here, this is going to be the chair or the rocker to breastfeed the baby. We have a couple of books on the side here. Lamb book, some more advanced books. This was actually from the CDC. If you go onto the CDC website, they have a couple free books that you can get. I also wanna sign up for the Dolly Parton book club, but that doesn't happen until your baby is born. My brother got me this book as well to read to our baby. I've also seen a lot of people get these carts. I think this cart will be the breastfeeding cart, so um, probably like these milk bags, my pump, and maybe some bottles I'll store up here. Yeah, this will be my breastfeeding cart, and then I think in the bathroom, I'm going to have a fully separate cart for postpartum recovery purposes. So the dermaplast and the tux medicated cooling pads will probably go into that cart. And then over here is just my hospital bag things. It looks really crazy, but I will be organizing this a little bit better soon. And I think that will actually be my next video, so stay tuned for that. That is the nursery update at 37 weeks. 
We have the essentials down, so if I do end up popping right now, we'll be okay because we'd have a place for her to sleep, she'll have diapers, hopefully she doesn't need formula, but we do have formula set up, so those are just like her bare necessities, and we have those, you know, ready to go, and her safety car seat, so right now, we're in a acceptable place, we have a lot more work to do. I'm actually gonna run to Target, I want to purchase a few items for the hospital bag and then I also want to purchase a few groceries so Target is the best one-stop shop for that. I'll see you at Target. Okay, I ended up getting an iced passion tango tea lemonade, half sweet, so this will be my shopping companion. I made my way over to the shoe section. I wanted to get some flip-flops because my feet have been swelling so I think I'm gonna get like a large size in these. Labor will probably make my feet swell even more. I kind of wanted to get like old navy type flip-flops if you know what I mean. I might grab one of these but I'm gonna keep searching for other ones as well. So I'm typically a size six and a half before I got pregnant but now I'm getting a size eight. Okay, I also wanted to get a nightgown that buttons down to breastfeed at the hospital. I do wish these were cotton, but they are really cute. They also have these really cute sets that are buttoned down, but I just don't want any restriction on my tummy because I hate that feeling. So we're going to go with the dress. I heard this is a good source of protein, so I'll need that during labor. Some protein bars coconut chocolate and then I also got some Gatorade. I'm gonna need some electrolytes, hydration. I'm gonna get some groceries and then we're gonna head out. I actually found the flip-flop section, the cheaper flip-flop section. It was where all like the bathing suits are. I got these pink ones, size eight for like five dollars and then it's 30% off. I'm from Target. Let's do like a small haul. I pretty much showed you everything that I got. Got these protein bars. They look pretty clean, simple ingredients from the Target brand. And there's about four in here. I don't think we're gonna need too many snacks. We can just get food at the hospital or around the hospital. Also got some peanut butter crackers. I was gonna get peanut butter pretzels, but this was a better price. Some flip flops for labor. My feet are just getting bigger and bigger by the day. So I got some flip flops so that they can expand even more. And then I got a cute pink striped nightgown. This will be perfect for after, for like skin to skin and breastfeeding because it's like a full button down. I also got some milk because I've been drinking a lot of banana date shakes to prepare myself for labor and then some bananas. I'm gonna make some food now because I'm super hungry and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I just whipped up some salmon and pasta. Thought I'd give a quick 37 week update. With my carpal tunnel, it's so hard to open anything now. It's really sad when you need your husband to open a Gatorade bottle for you. Okay, I got it. So third trimester update, I'm 37 weeks. I had my 37 week OB appointment yesterday. We did a non-stress test. She's asleep during the day, so the timing isn't great, but they did have a little buzzer tool to like buzz my belly and that kind of woke her up. And so I passed my non-stress test after that. Before that, the doctor was kind of like, we wanna see a little bit more movement and this is going to be a weekly test. So I am gonna go back again every week to check if I have adequate fluid. She is responding in the way that they want her to respond during the non-stress test. Everything's good there. They did a group B strep swab last week. So I'm group B strep negative. I did have an ultrasound. I did look at like the doctor's notes after the fact and saw that the head size looked a little bit small. So I started freaking out and spiraling. And my OB said that the ultrasound can be off by a few weeks and it's not super accurate at this point. So she was pretty happy about, you know, the weight of my baby. She was about like five pounds and some change. And I think as long as I have adequate fluid and she looks okay on the non-stress test, she's not worried at all about it. So that kind of calms my fears. In terms of symptoms, I was having some numbness in my middle finger, still there. It has spread now to my ring finger and my pointer finger. And my swollenness has probably stabilized. I don't think it's gotten worse, but my carpal tunnel has definitely gotten worse. So I'm still trying to keep up 
with eating dates every day, stretching or exercising, and walking for 30 minutes each day as well. I think that's pretty important at the end of the third trimester. I will update you guys again in a bit. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.